previously on Let's Play Gray. <laughs> babies! This is not babies for us! This is all kinds of babies! This is the babies! Babies! I know you're watching me, Mom. I know you are. And so we carry on. Okay, guys. Oh my god! What am I doing? Oh! Oh! What? What do I do to this poor little girl? What? Kind of look like a man, you know that? Oh my god, what did I do? I... I think I did what I could. Uh, yeah, more like uh, Okay. I'm not even gonna say anything. Because... <laughs> done what you could? Basement. Did the whole place change? I think they did. They got me a knife. What's this going to do for me? Mother knows best. Under her guidance, I continued to delve deeper into my past. Clues as to what I once was, what I would become, must be contained somewhere in our old apartment. I had only just started looking, however, when I was overcome by another sudden loss of consciousness. As I struggled against the inevitable tide, I felt something in my mind slip just slightly. Okay guys, I'm going to continue recording in a minute. It's just that during that boss fight, I wanted to focus on the boss fight, so I had face cam turned off. Give me a minute to turn face cam on. B 
be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with mask cam or face cam, whatever you want to call it. But uh, let's get back into the game, shall we? What is this place? I have no idea. My my head hurts. Mine would too. Am I in the air? You know, in that mental asylum in the stray jacket? I have no idea. Or what are all these flashbacks? <laughs> what the? Flying heads? You're kidding me. I swear, that's one of the most creepiest things I've saw. Is this knife even worth using? Not even in my eyes is it worth using. That knife almost got me killed. I think I'm more better off with my uh, strong sledge concrete pole thing. Let's use it. They wouldn't put these doors in here for no reason. There's gotta be somewhere I could go. I didn't just screw myself. Yeah, there's a vent here. Let's continue onward. Um, okay. Back in here. Got me a sledge device. I'm not afraid to break a neck with it. And this thing's slow though. Nothing. Waste of time. But I got bandages. That door's probably blocked or locked or broken. All right, I got me something better to use. I got me an SMG. Oh my god. What a waste of ammo. How, st how strong did he make the enemies on this game? They're like mini bosses. Each one. God. Gave them enough health, don't you think? God, developers. Give them a little bit less health. It's a little bit too much. Wow, I can't use anymore. I have no Uzi ammo. I don't even know what I'd use that Uzi for. I think it's just too weak. I'm going to save that med kit in case I really need it. Elevator. Elevator source. Where are we going? Locked. I can't open it. Ha <laughs> It's out of the park! Uh, was that more bandage? Wait, no. It was Uzi ammo. Should've known. 
devs, I can also say that that reload sound was kind of crappy, but I know you tried your best. Is that noise? Heads! Crap. Now I see what I'm going to use this for. that knife in there for? Okay, I get it. Holy crap! Oh my god! That's a boss! Gun! Need gun! Need gun! Holy crap! Holy crap! I wasn't expecting that! Okay, apparently I'm gonna take my gun and run! Oh my god! Huh? Babies. Oh my god, I didn't see you! Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Hey, Carl. We still need to finish that let's play of, you know, Cry of Fear. Co-op. And I just made a strike. With hitting that zombie's head. Or thing's head. Can I go out through here? What's with everything being locked? I'm getting the feeling that I'm gonna go towards something bad. The door's there again. What? What is this? What? What is this? I don't get this. That th thing. Oh, I get it. I fail to reload sometimes and hit the gun. That's very realistic. Apparently the knife gets me through this door. Patient 311363. I think this has something to do with my father. This record says something happened to him at Susan Cross Hospital. Patient was arrested for a brutal murder. Psychiatric. Okay. I have to find my father's records. We're gonna drive. Apparently we have some sort of problem. Why are we driving? I 
I guess it's safer than actually walking out there. As you could say. Finally, a concrete clue has surfaced. My father, who is so rarely a topic of discussion between myself and mother, has resurfaced in the form of hospital documents. My path became clear for the first time in what seemed like years. I made my way quickly to the hospital in search of records or files of my father or other family members who might have been admitted. The family history has become of the utmost importance to me. be in here somewhere. Ha! No! What's with this place? Everywhere is so abandoned. Creepy pictures. Just creepy, creepy pictures. Okay, I healed myself to a good point. Nothing on TV. Documents. It's locked. Storeroom. Um, nothing. Holy crap! Oh my god, this this sucks. This sucks. This badly sucks. Holy crap. Out of the park. Ball. How's my handgun my fifth choice? Why does there have to be a dog in there? Sledge! Crap, you're hurting me! This is really a powerful weapon, but I'll do you so bad. Let's take a shower. Because we came in here for nothing. I'm going to go downstairs and heal myself. Wrong room. At least it was by a little bit, guys. You gotta think of it that way. I do recommend this game to anyone. This is a good game. 
but it's very challenging. The enemies are very difficult. And that's the only thing, the enemies. Let's take this sledge, static TV. Of course, the ward police line do not cross. To make sure, or I don't forget the special chemicals room code I scratched into a tile in the bath. Okay. Special chemical cold. Now I need to hunt for the bath. Which I was just in. Where's the code? You said you scratched... 49823. Open up the store. Access granted. That's the panic sound I like to hear. No, what's with this? You burn. Uh. Backward. Six oh two five six. Six oh two five six. There's gotta be something. Of course, of frickin' course. So we go on and yonder searching for things that we don't normally search for in a hospital. We're searching for archives. I don't want the med kit. I want my machine gun so I could reload it. And there's a monster that I want to kill. Because I'm nearly dead now because of it. Now I use that said med kit. Mmm, drugs. Third floor. Man, this dump up here looks like Sarah O'Connelly's career. And that's a little bit messed up. Batteries. Took the batteries. Now what? 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 I hate you, babies. Something attached to a tray. And it doesn't look tasty. Damn it. They must have moved everything to the basement. Okay, I don't see what that is. Why are most of these boxes unbreakable? It's like I made a steal. Monthly plan. It's one every month is to remove this third floor. Fixing winning the room. Wiring in the rooms with heavy machinery is priority. Renovation and flooring is also urgent due to the uh, movement of the x-ray and other heavy machinery causing little Pile damage. To begin working on the third floor, all old documents from the archives are going to be moved to the basement. Level storage hazard. We must fix the hole in the storage room that leads 
to the basement during our moving. All documents will be moved on staircases down within the storage room is to be worked on. For the drill, drill, need drill. Okay. What are we gonna drill? Let's go drill a hole in something. I know I'm gonna have to drill a hole in something, so just show yourself part that I have to drill. So I can drill you. Drill you a drill bit, Taylor. Ah, where is it? Could have swore I just saw something come out of the ceiling. And everywhere in this game just makes you want to look at every single corner that you step because you have no idea what's going to pop out or what's going to happen. The amazing world of gray. Gray's a scary place. Don't ever come here. You get murdered here. I come back out here? No, no, no. What am I doing back out here? I'm eating on. I'm eating. the end of this let's play part for now i'll see you guys in the next episode bye